Well, after plenty of pre-match anticipation, the wait Thank is finally over. Tonight. My name is Derek Thank Ray. I'm joined by Lee tonight. Dixon in the commentary box, oh, and we're just tonight. seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a spectacular final. It's AFC Wimbledon up against Portsmouth. Well, Derek, it's a cup final. I love cup finals. I've played in a few in my time. Very, very lucky to do so. Won a couple, lost a couple. You don't want to lose today, that's for sure. But you have to be brave. You have to take the game by the scruff of the neck. Looking forward to both these sets of players making this an absolute cracker. So we can check on the lineup today. It looks pretty orthodox, Lee. Yeah, I love this formation, 4-4-2. The two main strikers will stay close together. The full-backs will link up with the wide players. The two holding midfielders will sit in front of the centre-backs. Very solid look about this team. Well, let's dissect the Portsmouth starting eleven. Would you call it 4-5-1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4-2-3-1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. Thank you, Wembley Stadium. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Palmer. And they are on the move again. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Tom Naylor. Fruitful looking attack. A bit sloppy in possession. And they have possession again. Ben Close. And there to intervene. And he read it well, intercepting it. Promising looking attack. Plays it back. Well, body in the way. Now the delivery. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Now showing excellent vision. Big opportunity. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. Marquis. Well, it could be on for him here. Must be! And a goal! The first of the contest! Well, it's always best to get your nose in front in the final. Really puts the pressure on the opposition. Well, here's the replay, and what a ball that is to put him through. And then through on goal, you never really had any doubt he was going to slot that away. Good finish. Opening goal of the game then. Portsmouth goal, number seven, Ryan Williams.
Palmer. It's opening up for them. Not showing good patience. And smart defending. Counter attacking, very much an option. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Well, it petered out. Possession changing hands. Palmer. Oh, nice ball. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. And teammates to play it to. Surely the equaliser. And a goal! And what an important goal in the grand scheme of things. Well, it's the sort of determination and desire that's got them here. All the momentum is with them now. Well, I just love to look at perfect technique, and you won't get any better than this. It's just a dream strike. Brilliant, brilliant effort. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. Williams. Ben Close. And we will have just one additional minute. Have they given him too much space? And there it is, the half-time whistle. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Johnson Tom Naylor Marquis Alert defending Well let's see what they have in store for them on the break All in all a broken counter attack Marquis and the emphasis is on creativity an attack full of promise very alert defending to cut off the supply really good reading of the game to win possession back And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Ben Close. Can Andrew Vance Just the challenge that was required. Please meet your wife at the steps of the main stand. Thank you. Williams. Ben Close. Real danger. Must take the lead here. And they notch in front. Well, fabulous celebrations. They've got their noses in front, Derek. Can they stay there? Well, here's the replay, and in many ways, it doesn't do it justice how patient they were in the build-up. And sometimes, with all the time in the world, you can fluff your lines. But he composes himself and slips it past the keeper beautifully. So there we have it, 2-1. Goal for Portsmouth, number nine, John Marquis. Ben Hennigan. Alexander. And the cross is very much on. 
Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Going well. Palmer. Fruitful looking attack. Well, it was a very good looking move, but alas, no end product. Tom Naylor. And he read it well. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Dangerous looking attack. Can't miss, surely. Oh, can you get your heads around this? Just when we thought it might be done and dusted, it's level again. Well, the fans were starting to think it was over. Not now. Another twist, maybe, Derek? Well, here's the replay, and I enjoy this passage of play. It's lovely to watch. Superb passing. And then the sheer power of the strike. Really impressive. It's a thunderbolt. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. On the attack, is there to be late excitement? Can he put it in? A colossal goal! And can it be the goal that will give them the trophy? Well, all they've got to do now, Derek, is not concede and the cup is theirs. Easier said than done, though. Well, here it is again. The through ball is perfectly timed. It causes havoc. And still with lots to do, he unleashes a very powerful effort. Gave the keeper little chance. Lovely goal that was. Well, a dramatic moment near the end. And that might well be the decider. Number 39, Joe Liggert. Ben Close. And only two minutes remaining here. On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Palmer. And the final whistle, the cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. And Lee, memories are being...